Okay, Bolo Buddies, we're heading into the Goodwill, which is right next to the Goodwill bins. I walk in and I immediately see this. I don't know if it's like a tunic or a dress or what on earth it is. What do you think? Should I have got it? Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. So I didn't get it. I tried looking up the brand. I wasn't finding anything, so I left it behind. Let me know, was it a mistake? I do believe that it was vintage. This is a Mary Kay bag. I have sold these in the past. I thought about picking that up, but decided to pass. So we're over here in the Christmas section. I love selling Christmas items. I sell them all year long, but the last few times I've been here, I have not really found anything. So um, I did not find any Christmas today, but I did find some other stuff. Not a whole lot here, but we do head over to another thrift store after this. And I find one big money bolo in that thrift store. So stay tuned for that. You are gonna have to wait though, because it is towards the end of the video. All right, so we're looking through the Christmas stuff. Let me know if you see anything that you would have picked up that I did not pick up. Because we all have different things that we, I guess I should say different knowledge, things that we know about. I look most stuff up and that is how I learn, but I am sure that I miss stuff all the time. So I would love your feedback. I'm getting ready to pick something up which is, I think, a really bad buy. Um, I couldn't find any markings on it, and I'm like, what if? Because it was kind of tarnished. I figured it was silver-plated, but I brought it home just in case because it was cheap. And uh, I did find one on Etsy that is listed, but I could not find any solds, so I'm hoping that it sells. I did pick these little, um, they're candles, and they're shaped like bumblebees. They were just too cute. I feel like somebody might want them for a party or something like that, like a decor, decoration item. But they're bumblebees. I mean, how cute is that? You can't pass up bumblebees. All right, so I'm not big on breakables. I'm going to kind of show you guys some of the aisles, but I'm heading towards the toys. And I will tell you, the big money bolo I found is not a toy. All right, and it's not at this store. This store is really, really nice. Everything's always like put together and in its place and clean. And I do like this store. I don't always find a whole lot here, but I have, I have found some decent plush here. And we're gonna head over to the plush soon. So I do pick a few things up, look at the bottom, and the prices I feel like are decent here. Um, I have a Goodwill that's local and apparently it's under new management and the prices have been absolutely crazy. All right, I do like the colors on that one. Uh, not really sure if it was a good piece or not. Uh, let me know if you would have picked that up. I didn't see any markings on it, so I put it back. This mug here reminds me of a Hearthstone, but it is a different brand. I looked it up and comps were pretty low, so I left that behind. This mug right here I picked up for my husband, and he likes those, uh, I don't know what they're made of, but they're really heavy and sturdy coffee mugs. So I got him that, and then a few weeks later I went back and I found another one. So he has two of those now. All right, I do take a look at the coffee mugs. Certain mugs I'll pick up, but shipping is so expensive for mugs, it's really gotta be something worth your time. That's clear glass, usually stay away from that. And we are coming up on the toys here. Looking for anything that's sealed or a game that I know is a bolo. Certain games do really well. A lot of people part games out. I don't typically do that, but I do sometimes. So it kind of just depends on the situation. 
Right now I've got so much inventory, the last thing I wanna do is part out games. All right, so we're looking at the bigger toys. A lot of these are baby toys. I usually don't pick up baby toys. Uh, the value just is usually pretty low. I did look at this, it's some sort of baby monitor, like a movement thing or something, but I looked up comps and they didn't, they weren't that great. I thought that they would be higher for something like that, but they were not. So I left that behind. And we're just gonna keep moving along here. Lots of baby toys this week. I don't know what that was. That was a sealed puzzle. Some sealed puzzles can do very well. I did pick up this because it's the Wiggles. Um, the Wiggles was, I don't think it's around anymore and it wasn't mass produced. So typically the toys are harder to find and they typically sell well. However, I opened that one up and the batteries were corroded. I mean, super, super corroded, not a little bit. There was no fix in it. So I actually threw it in the trash. I think I threw it in the trash. I'm pretty sure I did. I mean, there was no saving it. Usually I can like scrape and get it clean enough to make the, the item work and then I just disclose it. All right, so we're over here at the plush bin. And at this store, plush is 99 cents unless it is marked. And honestly, a lot of their plush is actually 99 cents. It's really nice. Uh, you won't see that at my Goodwill locally. So this is like a... Hollywood, I don't know, what's that thing called? Take one or whatever uh, pillow. Would you have picked that up? Let me know in the comments. This guy I did pick up. Um, I did check it to make sure it works. And um, I have got things here that do not work, but that's kind of a chance you take. I did price him a little on the high end, but I do have best offer on it. And there were some solds in the, I think they were in the 30 to $40 range, and I've got it at 45 or best offer. So I'm not too far off. I'm trying to remember what else I grabbed out of the plush bin. So much plush. Okay, so somebody asked me about plush in one of my comments on my channel, and they asked if it sits for a long time or if it sells fast, like how long can they expect for it to sit? And I really feel like plush is like anything else. You have to have the right buyer. But I will say, I feel like plush is more of a long tail item. And when I buy plush, I'm not in a hurry to sell it. Um, I'm kind of a long tail seller anyway. I kind of list things and just wait for them to sell. I have a lot of items in my store. So I don't worry about how quick things sell. I just list them and forget them. And when they sell, I ship them. So that's not everybody's business model. Some people want to only have their things in their store for so many months and then they mark it down or things like that. I do a mass markdown. I mark everything down at the same time. It's not based on how long I've had it. I just don't have time to do all that. So again, I'm a list it and forget it type of girl. What is your business model? Like, what do you do in your store? How do you, how long do you hold on to things? Do you donate them? Like, I never do inventory. I never donate stuff. If I list it, it stays in my store until it sells. Now, I do have a very big space that I use for my inventory. And I suppose if that space was getting full and I was running out of room, I may have to reevaluate what I'm doing, but at this point in time, that's my business model. This right here, I'm not sure if I should have got this. I tried looking it up and I could not find anything. They're like, you put them on your hand. They're super, super cute. I feel like I should have got them maybe, but I didn't. There was a black one with pink like uh, fingers or padding on it, and then a white one with something on it. And they were both pretty cool and in really great condition with tags. So let me know in the comments if you would have got those. All right, I am now over at the next store and I'm looking through the plush. 
a lot of this plush was, um, I shouldn't say a lot of it. Some of this plush was from my other video. I went back a week or two later. So some of these items may look familiar to you, but there were a lot of items that were new. And it's so funny because in my last video, there was something that I was like, oh, I should have bought that. And I was popping up my screen shares for this video and I'm like, I missed it again. So let's see if you guys catch it. If you watched my other plush video, it was all plush that I picked up at this store. It was a huge plush haul. Um, it's where I found uh, the kitty kitty kittens that I sold. And it was that kitty kitty kittens was in such bad shape and I still sold it for $35. It was awesome. Oh, wait. Now we're back at the other store. I mixed up the... <laughs> Sorry, guys. I mixed up the... Oh, what do you call it? The videos when I put them back in the feed to edit. So we're back at the other store. This is um, a big old turkey. And I really, really thought about getting this turkey, but it was pretty big. And I'm like... What if it doesn't sell and I have this turkey for like 10 years? Oh my goodness. Would you have bought the turkey? And then this alligator is pretty cool. I think it was, oh, I can't remember. Can't remember the brand. Okay, so now we're back at the plush at the other store. I apologize for that. Um, that one was a Build-A-Bear. They do price their Build-A-Bear up. Uh, was it $2.99, $2.99? Not awful, but it was just a you know, standard dog. And I feel like the teddy bears and the dogs, some of them take longer to sell. If that one was a big money bolo, somebody let me know. <laughs> um, it did have that cute patch on its eye. That was like a pocketbook, a plush pocketbook. Okay. I did bring this one home with me and the ears had some staining on it. So I decided not to list that one. That was a mistake. Um, I just thought it was cute and a puppet, but I'm trying to figure out why a mouse has a pocket in the front. This one, I forget. I looked that one up. Uh, is it Sophia the First, maybe? I think so. Um, it was just a bread and butter, $10 or less for that. So I left that one behind. I Maybe I should have got it. Most of the items I picked up today in this video are bread and butter items that are probably going to be kind of long tail. So that was interesting right there. Just checking tags, tush tags. Sometimes you can get brands and dates. This little koala is super cute, but he's, you know, he's just inexpensive, but he was really cute. I absolutely love digging through the plush. Um, let me know what you guys think about plush. Do you like it or do you hate it? Some people don't like it. This little bear I did pick up because I just thought it was so cute. It looked super old and I'm like, somebody is going to want this bear. I did some research. I found one and it was holding a baby. So mine does not have the baby. So unfortunately, I had to price it lower because of that. And hopefully somebody's going to have the baby and need the mama because I've got the mama listed. All right. I did pick up this. It is a, it's by Just Play. It's an animated Cocker Spaniel dog. And for the most part, it works, but sometimes it gets a little bit hung up. So I did put a video in the description. My sale has not kicked in on any of these items yet. I just listed them today. Um, so they will go into 20, I think it's 25% off is what I have going on right now. But um, you push the ear and then it like barks and pants and yeah, it's a dog. I like picking up animated stuff. I like to put those over on my reseller testing Bolo products channel and then I attach a video into my eBay listing. Okay, that is another Build-A-Bear. I think think I looked up comps on that and I put it back. So I didn't end up getting that one. It was super cute. Maybe I should have uh, bunnies, you know, people like bunnies, especially around Easter. This is a schnauzer and I would have priced that higher, but the ear was coming loose, the thread in the ear. And then as I was taking photos, there was thread coming loose on its leg. 
So that was super, super disappointing. I ended up um, listing it just because I bought it, but uh, I was hoping to get like 15, 20 out of it, and I think I'll be lucky to get between 8 and 10 with the damage. It's probably an easy fix, but most people would rather just buy something that doesn't need fixed. But we'll see. I listed it. We'll see if I can sell it. I've been known to sell damaged items. All right. I do dig here for a little bit. And then after this, I head over and I find the Bolo in a different department. And we're going to talk about that. Is that the one? Should I have got that? Or was that kind of like a beanie? All right. That is some sort of monkey thing. I think it's like got speakers or something. Not really sure. I looked it up. It wasn't worth getting. I put it back. You'll see me put stuff in my cart, but a lot of the items um, I didn't end up getting. I wish I would have looked this up. Um, I came back and I found the little guy, which I'll show you soon, that I talked about in my last video. But I did look at that tag, so maybe it just wasn't what I was looking for. I can't remember. I did pick up this little gunned poo uh, from Winnie the Pooh. It's Eeyore. He's just a bread and butter. But he was in pretty good condition, and I thought he was cute, so I grabbed him. And what is that? I don't remember that one. I have been putting off listing this plush. I don't know why. It just kept getting tossed to the side. I, I did pick up this little cheetah. Uh, the sale has not kicked in. It's 25% off of the $17 at this time. It is from the 80s. I think it was 1986. And it was just really cute. And I decided to pick it up. Here's this one. I thought these were made by Heart um, Hallmark, but that one was Heartline. So I don't know if I got the right one or not. I picked this little graduation bear up from 1987 because I felt like maybe somebody had that when they graduated and maybe they'll be looking for it. I don't know. It may not have been the best buy. It may be a super long tail item. I will definitely keep you guys posted. I do what sold videos um, all the time. I have bread and butter, bolo, uh, what solds, and those are my items that I sold for $35 or less. And then I have my big money bolo videos, which are anything over $35. I did pick up this little salty dog um, plush, super, super cute. It's got a little yellow hat on it. And, you know, again, these are all going to be bread and butter. When I dig through the plush, I just want to buy some stuff. You know, I don't want to leave... I want to take some stuff home with me. I don't know if that's always a good choice. I should sit there and comp everything before I buy it. But I figure if I can get it for a buck and I can turn it into 10 or 15, it's easy to list. It's fun to list. It's super easy to ship. Um, typically for my plush, I will put them in a bubble mailer. Um, if they have uh, plastic um, eyes, I will cover those eyes with an additional piece of bubble wrap before I put it in the mailer. So far, um, that has worked out great for me. I mean, they're not going to break. So I, I don't know. Do you guys use just a regular poly mailer or do you use a bubble mailer? I really like the bubble mailers. I just feel like they're more sturdy. And if they get torn, I know the plush isn't going to, you know, get ripped. They're not going to tear as easy as like a regular poly mailer. I did do a shipping video, some shipping tips that I have, if you guys want to check that out. All right, so you remember the last time I talked about stuff being dyed pink because maybe they got thrown in the laundry with something red? That rattle is something that, that happened to, but I decided to get it anyway. I feel like it's a good shade of pink and maybe somebody will still want it. All right, here is my bolo. This is a dimensions, but you guys, it is an advent calendar and I cannot find any like it. So I am pricing it very high. I may have to wait until Christmas for it to sell or it could sell sooner, but I've got it priced at, um, it's on sale right now for $187. I think I can get over $100 for it, but you make the picture, cross stitch it or whatever, and then you attach little things to the picture. So it's like an advent. It's super, super cool. The instructions are on it, but um I, I, couldn't, I could not believe that I could not find any comps. So to me, that tells me that there, there's not a lot around. So 
pretty cool bolo item and I'm hoping for the best. I've sold some cross stitch kits for 75 to, I think I've sold some for over a hundred dollars. So um, I know it's possible. Usually it's the dimensions gold that do the best, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold out for that one and wait for the right buyer. So right now I'm just kind of looking through the shelves at some of these different statues and uh, figurines a lot of them are breakables, so it has to be something that really catches my eye for me to buy it because I don't particularly like shipping breakables. Some things I don't mind, but um, like sets of dishes, no way, not my thing. I've done it before, but I don't like it. Um, I just sold a nativity for, uh, it was over $400, and I had no shipping on it because I did not want to ship it. I'd had local pickup on it and somebody was like, please, please, please ship it. I will pay you to have it shipped. So I spent over an hour bubble wrapping all of the figures, uh, putting in all this extra padding. And then I took it to a place that um, will ship the items, like package the items for you. And they boxed it within a box and like put peanuts all around it. Oh my goodness. I spent so much time on that. And I only did it because the person really, really wanted it. And they gave me my full asking price and they paid the shipping. So they were super, super happy. And I'm happy to say that they left me positive feedback and everything arrived safely. But um, they put a box within a box and it was two inches of uh, peanuts around it. So I was really, really happy that it made it. But I'm telling you, I had hours and, you know, had to drive it there and have them package it. And then I had to wait on it and then I had to go back and pick it up. And it was quite the adventure, but it was definitely worth it. So super excited about that big money bolo that will be in a future Big Money Bolo What Sold video. So stay tuned for that. All right, have you guys seen anything that I looked at and sat back down? I'm sure some of you that like breakables are like, oh my goodness, I would have got that and are screaming at the camera right now because you guys like breakables. Me, I pick them up and I'm like, mm, I do not want to ship this. I do like how this store has these little... Um, displays super super cute that was attached with tape it was like taped around it so it does that make sense it's kind of weird i guess it keeps the it from rattling around or getting dropped so it's probably a good idea but all right we are about to finish up here and hopefully that advent calendar dimensions will be in a future what sold video Really, really excited about that piece. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm doing a lot of Goodwill Outlet Bins videos. So if you like to see digging through the bins, definitely check out those videos. I do keep it educational and I pop up screenshots of how I listed everything. So I think I've probably got a handful of those up right now. So and if you want to see the uncut versions, like where I don't edit and you just see me digging, no education, check out my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. So I'm putting the uncut version over there for people that just want to see me dig. This is some of their fancier items that they put here in the front, probably so that they can kind of keep an eye on it. Um, I think that was, is it pronounced Capa de Monte or something like that? It was kind of weird. Um, I don't know. I wasn't sure if I should get that one or not. You guys can let me know in the comments. Again, I, it was like, I, I wasn't a big fan of the figurine itself. Uh, so I kind of shied away from it for that reason, but I have heard of that brand. All right, you guys, thanks so much. Be sure to check out the description of the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.